on this New Hampshire beer tasting from Branch and Blade Brewing Company out of Keene, New Hampshire. I have fermented fantasy sour triple IPA coming in at 10% ABV. The uh, label art here, there you go. All right. So this is my first experience with this brewery. Um, didn't know anything about them. They had a ton of stuff at one store to choose from. And uh, they're all pretty pricey. Um, for the four packs, they ranged anywhere from 17 to $18. That was the range, basically. So uh, I haven't, uh, I've only had one other sour IPA. So they had a, a few sour, different variations of sour IPAs. This is their sour triple IPA. So I went with this one. Um, but they had a, a quite an assortment um, from this brewing company. So, And all their labels looked really cool, um, but very pricey. So I'll try to get some more stuff from them. But uh, spending almost $20 for four beers is not really not really my style all the time you know let's go ahead and crack into this one give this an aggressive pour all right so with that we have some tight, kind of a little bit uh, off-white on my end uh, for the color of the head. They're tight bubbles, um, larger ones on top. Uh, looks looks kind of frothy the way that I poured that. The color on this thing is, uh, I'd say it's a bit above a 6 SRM. It goes a little bit beyond the... Uh, a little bit beyond the uh, rich gold, we'll call it, uh, color. So this might be about a, a 7 to 8 SRM. Um, kind of starting to go towards that amber type note, deep orange. Um, the aromas. So you get like a little bit of like a, there's like a sweetness that kind of starts to come up, but then it's like smacked away by a nice sour note. Kind of smells almost fruity, a little bit of like a lemonness, lemon like note. Might be on a little bit on the floral side as well. So we'll roll all that into one. You got floral, slight bit of a fruity, a lemon-esque sour nose coming up. All right, let's go in for the first swig. So first off, there's like no carbonation in this. It's pretty much flat. And I can hold that right up there. You don't see any carbonation bubbles coming up. Kind of seems almost on the medium body side. 
flavors. It's definitely got a bit of sourness to it. It's not the most sour sour I've had. It doesn't make your mouth spit really, but it's kind of got, if you've ever had a heartburn where it's actually made its way up into your mouth, it's kind of got that flavor to it. Um, I did a video on a different brew that did a, um, dry hopped sour and I said that was the worst beer that I had ever had this one is uh this one's coming right up behind that one it's uh yeah some some stomach acid type flavors there's something fruity in there it's like a pear apple type note drenched in lemon to preserve it there's a bit of a malt note I don't really know where it's at I think it's like kind of a uh, kind of on the bread bread side but this one is a uh, it's a tough one to get through um, it's really only my second sour IPA I've ever had and this is the second one that I really didn't like so, on a streak here, um, I'll have to try some, some more at some point. They, like I said, they do have some other sour IPAs out there. Less, uh, they have a double, I think a single. Um, they have some other regular stuff. I'm going to have to try some of the regular stuff that's not soured. Um, just, to, just to see. So, uh, cheers guys. Thanks for watching. I got a few more of these cans to go through, so. Cheers.